Bienvenido al Reto de Salsa 2018. Cecilia, what are you doing? It's a salsa challenge, Drew, so I'm eating salsa while salsa -ing. How many of those have you had? 25. Wait, 25? We have to go film the 25th edition of the EDS News. You're right, let's go! Now it's time for upper school news. The blood drive results in 21 donors and 20 pints with the potential to save 60 lives. Thank you for all your support. Next year, the upper school is having a speech team. An informational meeting took place on Thursday. If you're an 8th through 11th grader and are interested, please see Ms. Connect card. That's all for high school news. Tune in next week for more. This week on middle school news. Several middle school students have chosen to present their science fair projects at the University of Southern Indiana. US, USI is hosting the Tri-State Science and Engineering Fair on March 8th. The sixth grade students that are presenting are Farouk Albabidi, Judah Law, Jenna Atia, Jake Bernard, Nathan Foster, Ethan Hilton, Philip Kulikov, Colleen Meacham, Roman Nestor, Blake Sanders, and Lillian Zausch. The seventh graders that are presenting are Logan Gallagher, Ellie Kissel, Nina Muva, Shreya Naraya, Bryson Shields, Kira Stoffleth, and Gwen Trailer. That's all for this week's edition of Middle School News. Hi, I'm Nora, and it's time for Lower School News. Next week, we're, selling, we're celebrating Read Across America on Friday, March 2nd, by dressing up as our favorite storybook characters. The students will gather in, a re in the atrium to hear a reading of a Dr. Seuss book, then spend time reading with their book buddies. Sponsored by the Net National Education Association, Read Across America is an annual reading motivation and awareness program that calls for every child to celebrate reading on March 2nd, the birthday of Dr. Seuss. That's all for this week's Lower School News. Tune in next week for more. And now for this week on upcoming events. Friday, February 23rd is Senior Night during the High School Game, which is Princeton at 5.30. Friday, March 2nd is the Primary School Read Across America slash Character <coughs> Dress Up Day. Wednesday, March 7th is Step Up Night at 6 to 7.30. March 5th through 8th will be I-Step testing for the 8th through 10th graders. That's all for this week for upcoming events. Now for this week's edition of What's Hot. Norway has been dominating the Olympics with a total of 33 medals. Germany comes in at second with 24, and Canada is in third with 21. The United States is in fifth place. In alpine skiing, Norway has a total of six medals, with Austria trailing at five, and Switzerland at three. Austria has the most medals of all time in alpine skiing. In figure skating, Canada has a lead of three medals, two of them being gold. Japan and the U.S. trail at two medals each. Tune in next week for final standings. Now for this week in sports. On Tuesday, the EDS boys basketball team beat Washington Catholic 62 to 35. Senior night begins tonight at 5.30. We hope to see you there. At swimming sectionals, Duke Mooseberger improved the time on both his 150 meter. Unfortunately, he did not advance. The boys had a great season. That's all for this week's sports. Tune in next week for more. The Barnes & Noble My Favorite Teacher Contest is coming up. Submissions are due to the local Barnes & Noble by March 2nd. Middle school students may write an essay poem or thank you letter sharing how a teacher has influenced their life and why they appreciate and admire them. Go to the EDS website for details in the entry form. Earlier today was the wonderful annual Salsa Challenge. This year, with the help and support from friends of EDS, classes from kindergarten through fifth grade created their own recipes in Spanish, made salsa and guacamole for everyone to taste and vote for. This year, the upper school choir performed chili caliente, and the middle school choir performed guacamole and vir mi vida. Thank you for everyone who participated, and see you next year. Evansville Day School received a letter from the Isaacs president. The visiting team report was accepted, and the school's compliance with standards for membership was confirmed. EDS continues as a member in good standing with full accreditation for the next seven years. Congratulations to steering committee chairs Corey Serrell and Kelly Phillips, and a very sincere thank you to the faculty, staff, trustees, students, and alumni, and parents that participated in the three-year process. Now it's time for this week's bewildering edition of In the Halls, where we put EDS students on the hot seat. What has to be broken before it can be used? An egg. An egg. Silence. Hmm. Well, say. Jimmy's mother had three children. The first was called April, the second was called May. What was the name of the third? Okay. Now we're going to go to two different types of cakes in each square. 
Jimmy. <laughs> Third. Jimmy? Did you say, is that what you said? Jimmy. Jimmy. What begins with T, ends with T, and has a T in it? Tea, tea cup. Teapot. Coffee cup. Um, I don't know. You can hold it without using your hands or your arms. What is it? Your, your breath. Air. Breath. Breath. <laughs> My head. A rank. A rank. Like, position. It's so fragile, even just saying his name can break it. What is it? S Silence. <laughs> An egg. Oh no. This ones are actually cool. Most of them aren't that hard. Hey, sister, what's up? Ain't too much salsa. How many have you had? This is my 26. Wait, did you say 26? Tune in next week for the 26th edition of the EDS News. <laughs>